Last time I spoke to you, you're part of the, the Obama administration, of course. You, the administration handed over to Trump at the start of this year. Do you think the world's become a more dangerous place because of actions of the current administration since then, sir? Well, uh, I won't speak entirely causally, but let's say the world has become a more dangerous place. Uh, frankly, uh, one of my activities is around nuclear threats, and I would say that the nuclear threats today are as bad or worse than they have been since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Uh, North Korea is part of that, uh, U.S.-Russia relations, India-Pakistan. So that's really, really uh, an issue. And, of course, uh, we have had uh, some, uh, including in the campaign, some uh, rather, I think, loose talk about uh, the role of nuclear weapons. Uh, what disturbs me is seeing nuclear weapons elevated in national security strategy as opposed to uh, being given less of, a, less of a prominent role. In climate, of course, uh, President Trump did announce on, uh, on June 1st that the U.S. would withdraw from uh, Paris. Uh, that obviously uh, means that there will not be continuing American leadership uh, in this arena. But I have to say here, Steve, that I have some hope because uh, that announcement uh, triggered an enormous outpouring of support uh, in the United States from mayors, governors, business leaders, of course, internationally, others uh, being prepared to step forward. Uh, so I feel that uh, in this case, we will get to the same place. The road getting there will be a little bit rockier uh, because of uh, U.S. Uh, position.